Hey everyone, Dan from Device Deal. Today's video we are going to talk about the new QNAP TS4648 gig, uh, which is a new QNAP NAS entry level model uh, designed for most home users um, and pretty good at most applications. So a lot of people are able to purchase the device for pretty much anything you want to do um, around the home from surveillance and media streaming, which we'll get into, and all your backup and storage requirements. So we're gonna introduce Plex Media Server. So what is Plex? So Plex is a software that can be run on multiple devices, and it allows you to play your media from any one of those devices. So it could be your TV, phone, laptop, desktop, pretty much whatever device, wherever you are. Um, will be able to access all of your data. So you have a server. The server stores all of your files, um, like a private version of Netflix type thing. So you'll generally store your files on a NAS or some sort of a storage device. And then you can access via Plex, uh, access those files on any of your devices. So it allows you to copy, let's say, music, photos, videos, um, all of your old DVDs, Blu-ray, everything into one location. So we get a lot of customers that have an old Blu-ray DVD collection. They've got it in boxes, cupboards, that sort of thing. You can digitize it all, put it all into one location, and then access your movies from anywhere you want at any time. So once you've built your Plex server, let's say you've added your movies, you've added your photos, you've added your music, whatever it is you want to add, then you can access that server from a client. So a client is going to be your laptop, it's going to be your mobile phone, tablets, television, everything. There'll be a Plex app that you download, launch it, tell it to connect to your server, and you'll be able to view all of your content there. Even streaming devices like the Fire TV, um, Chromecast, Roku, all of your common streaming devices, they'll have a Plex app. The Plex app you'll sign into and you'll be able to connect to your server and view all of your content. So it's basically you're setting up a server, your Plex media server goes onto your NAS and then you use all of your client devices to connect into the NAS and view all of your footage. That's why the NAS is so important because your NAS is going to store everything. High capacity, um, nice and fast, very easy to use, looks and feels amazing. And it still can connect to the servers um, to download um, all of your clients. If you download a movie, for example, um, or add a movie from a DVD that you've got in your cupboard, you'll be able to Plex is smart enough to connect online and download um, like covers for it, add all the actors, actresses, when it was shot, what genre it is, all of that sort of stuff it can do. So if you've got a media library of 100 movies, it can actually populate. It'll pull down all the information about those movies, put them all into the server so that when you're looking through it on your mobile, you can actually filter. You can say, I want to watch a, a Western movie and it will bring out all the Western movies, or you can search by actor or actress, whatever you want to do. Um, so the server handles all of that part. The client, you just use it to browse what you want to watch um, and then access it from there. So with Plex, why this particular model of NAS? So the TS464 is pretty much QNAP's most popular device. It's a very, very versatile device. It can handle pretty much anything you want to throw at it. Um, it'll handle your security cameras. It'll handle all your backup and storage. It'll do your Plex media server. Um, all of those things it's going to handle really, really well. There are other models out there that will do specific things better. But if you're looking for a really cost effective, all round versatile device, you just can't go past this model. So this is the desktop or the home screen of a QNAP NAS, sort of uh, give you an idea of the look and feel of how it's all going to work. Uh, pretty much everything that you're going to access in the NAS is from the app center. So we're going to the app center. Here you'll find apps from surveillance cameras, backing up, storage, uh, anything up to and including karaoke, if you're interested in that. So pretty much all the apps you'll be able to get from here. Uh, the Plex app is under entertainment. 
if we go into entertainment, you'll be able to see the Plex Media Server there. And we can click on install to install it. Once it's installed, we're going to launch it and you'll be asked to create your account or if you're already uh, an existing Plex user, you'll be able to log into your existing account. And once we have signed into our account, uh, we'll just show you how quickly and easy it is to add, start any content. We'll just add a couple of images to begin with. Um, we'll just show you how to quickly add them in. So we're going to use the Plex uh, app to access a couple of the images that we uploaded earlier. Um, so we'll go through and show you how to access those images now. So the NAS that we're looking at today uh, is the TS-464 um, Aki version. It has built-in UHD graphics, which is going to allow some form of 4K video playback. So if you've got a good media collection, you want to play some 4K footage, this device is going to work well for you. It's storage for hard drive bays. Um, these days, we're looking at upwards of 20 terabytes per disk. So for most home users, it's gonna be more than enough capacity for you to be able to back up and store all your movies, uh, everything all in the one box. You can get expansion enclosures that'll plug into the back of the NAS and give you additional storage on top of that. So you've pretty much got all of your storage um, covered all in one box. Now Plex, the software, the actual program itself is free. The NAS you can purchase from the Device Deal website, devicedeal.com.au. We have uh, deals available on the NAS, uh, bundled with hard drives as well. Um, so if you want to visit our website, you can find more information there. If you need more information on the product itself, Plex, how it all works, uh, what other options you have, um, yeah, give us a call, drop us an email, jump on our chat or put in a comment below, more than happy to give you a hand. Um, more information on the device, we'll put in the links below as well, so you can sort of see the specifications, that sort of thing. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.